survival of all organisms depends upon the nutritive process what you eat that you are which i have written here is equally means survival is equal to nutrition definitely i am nutritious because i am eating a perfect composition of these mineral these nutrients so generally nutrition refers to these many uh, nutritive products like carbohydrates lipids proteins vitamins minerals and water uh you may be familiar with the word protein carbohydrate because those those are general diet things and if you take about compo- how these nutrients we know only the intake right if you buy a sugar or a milk thing you may know only the intake then how it is getting absorbed to your body how that nutrients are converting into your diet it's all because a process called digestion the digestion only makes your nutrition making edible to your body so the process of digestion uh, digestion actually means three things absorption and assimilation it is followed by digestion so that the whole nutrition is absorbed throughout the body now let's see about carbohydrates carbohydrates is nothing but is a composition of carbon hydrogen oxygen in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 that's carbon hydrogen oxygen in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 and carbohydrates is of many types starting from monosaccharides to polysaccharides for example in which monosaccharides they are a simple form of sugars means they are monomers as the name suggests of made up of this composition and even that monosaccharides also divided upon uh mono trioses tetroses and it goes on depends upon the number of carbon atoms for example if the carbon atom is th- uh, 3 c3 h6 o3 is called triose it often differ in the case of whether it is an aldose or a ketose so the word says triose right so it is an aldose if it is a ketose we will call Uh, for example glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate glycerol dehyde is an example of triose if we had dihydroxy acetone phosphate that is an example of ketose means three carbon ketose keto group okay this is where how it is classified as monosaccharide and disaccharide it's very common to us whatever the common food we eat those are of made up of disaccharides for example uh, how however what i am going to say you nobody can reject milk and sugar is out of our diet right so these three two things are very much important in our diet and these two things are made up of made up of and the disaccharides only so disaccharides is made up of formed of two monosaccharides two monosaccharides condense to form disaccharide uh three major things we will say in disaccharides that is maltose sucrose and lactose maltose is made up of glucose plus glucose similarly lactose is made up of glucose plus galactose uh this glucose as cal- lactose is a major component of milk as i said it's in a common food right and this maltose is in all germinating cells I means germinating cells in the case of seeds which we consume right seeds and sucrose is if you have a cane sugar that is made up of sucrose so sucrose is made up of two monomers called glucose and fructose it's in sh- cane sugar so this is the general form of monosaccharide sorry disaccharide we will consume then i will go to a, another term called polysaccharides polysaccharide is composed of many monomers many monosaccharides polysaccharides this polysaccharides is again uh, divided into two, two classification Uh, for example 
structural and storage we are aware about cells cell wall the cell wall is made up of polysaccharide like a structural form for example cellulose the cellulose is also a major constituent of papers what we call is is a structural unit of poly structural carbohydrate similarly storage form uh, one more thing i will stress here the storage polysaccharides are very important for our energy resource uh, in the case of plants it's starch in the case of human it's glycogen not only human most of all the animals it's glycogen mammalian animals so these are the two forms of polysaccharides and let's go to so we are about thorough about carbohydrates next time going to lipids lipids and uh, it's very important source ah one more thing i want to stress here again in carbohydrates one gram of carbohydrate constituent to 4.3 calories of energy please note it it may be useful for your it may be asked in your competitive exams so these are the points which are very important on gram equal to 4.3 kilo calories of energy next time going to lipids so lipids are energy lipids are energy rich compound and it is a major source energy resource of our body and lipids again like carbohydrate is made up of it can be classified as simple lipid and complex lipid derived lipids and simple lipid is triacylglycerol simple lipid so lipid again made up of glycerol and a fatty acid and uh, this term fat is a very fancy term right i am big because i am fat they say because i am having lot of storage containers why should i worry i am having great reservoir of energy right and this lipids is again uh, can be classified in the terms of consumption like saturated and unsaturated uh unsaturated uh one may uh, in uh, lipids are rich in oil so in commercially they will call sunflower oil safflower oil is getting famous why is the reason you know because sunflower oil and safflower oil is made up of unsaturated fatty acids the reason why uh, this un unsaturated fatty acids uh, it's available in the term of pufa poly unsaturated fatty acids is available to uh, blood pressure patients why they are uh, doctors or nutritionists are prescribing to blood pressure patients they can be easily oxidized so unsaturated fatty acids are predicted predictable to them and here as is a major source of energy even 1 gram of lipid constitutes to 9.3 kilo calories is more than this 4.3 right is 9.3 calories and of energy totally 25% to 30% of total calories in our body is made due to this fat nearly 25% to 30% of our whole energy is made up of this fat then i go to a term called protein now we are thorough with carbohydrate and lipid then i go move on to proteins proteins again uh, if you ask if you just look over bodybuilders or anyone they will say i am eating protein powder even commercially also protein powder is available why they are uh, taking proteins because proteins are building blocks of our body see i am black uh, some are white what's the reason for that you know it's all depends upon the protein called melanin i am having thick nails it's because of the protein called keratin i am whatever uh, breath i am taking i can my body can take that oxygen and give out carbon dioxide this is because of the protein called hemoglobin so all the functions of our body and the structural parts of our body is made up of proteins so it's correctly called proteins are building blocks of our body and how to classify this protein this protein is made up of two uh, car like carbohydrate is made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen the protein has additional terms like 
carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur and main thing nitrogen. So these are the constituents of protein. Uh, as monosaccharides are building blocks of complex polysaccharide, here it is made up protein protein is made up of protein is made up of amino acids. There are 20 amino acids which are contributing to form proteins. Naturally, there might be many amino acids, but all the amino acids won't contribute to protein. So, these 20 amino acids are called as protein forming amino acids. Again, according to the consumption, these proteins, these amino acids have been classified into two types essential and non essential amino acids. Essential and non essential. As the term says essential, uh, these amino acids cannot be synthesized by our body. So it's definitely should be given to our body through diet. That's why they are giving to the, the through diet. The amino acids, uh, I said 20 amino acids now, which is very important for competitive exams. What are the names of those essential amino acids which are frequently asked? So I am mentioning that. As valine, leucine, isoleucine. Proline, uh, sorry, phenylalanine or record. Uh, similarly, there are 10 essential amino acids methionine, uh, tryptophan, and lysine. Lysine is composed of K, right? So, this whatever I am writing is the one letter code of those amino acids. One letter code of that amino acids. You may be uh, learning that further in our biochemistry videos. I will just say about briefly in that and as like carbohydrate this proteins also is made up of uh, proteins also is composed of two things structural and functional when I started saying about proteins I just uh, overwhelmed about saying whole parts is a building block of body and to be specific how it is classified it's structural and functional way structural and functional mm, the structural video was structural is made up of cell membrane hair nails everything functional is of enzymes uh, enzymes are nothing but biocatalyst a biocatalyst what a catalyst will actually do it will fast up the reaction right Similarly, biocatalyst is fast up the biochemical reactions. Then I move on to vitamins. So we are thorough with carbohydrate, lipids and proteins. Now I move on to vitamins. Uh, vitamins like carbohydrates, proteins and lipids is not doing anything with energy. But vitamins are very much essential for performing that essential uh, energy building activities. Without vitamins, lot of deficiency we will face. We will call it xeropthalmia, xerosis, beriberi. These diseases may be famous to you, famous to we all. But the reason for this disease is vitamin deficiency. There are lot of vitamins. For example, vitamins also broadly classified into two terms, fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. Fat soluble, as the name suggests, is very simple, where it is soluble. Uh, These fat soluble vitamins are A, D, E, K. These vitamins cannot be dissolved in water, but in the case of water soluble, I will say a simple example, lemon. Lemon is consists of this vitamin C, B, B is a huge family, B complex, they will say, like B1, B2, till B12 it is there, and vitamin C. So I quoted lemon. Lemon, if you dissolve in water, it will soluble, it solubilize itself. So it's called as water soluble vitamin. In this vitamin A, D, E, K, each vitamin will contribute for a specific function. For example, vitamin A play an important role in visual perception. Uh, night blindness. Night blindness is due to the reason vitamin A deficiency. 
and vitamin D I will make it right right so vitamin A they play an important they play an important role in visual perception similarly vitamin D these are all fat soluble right as I mentioned before vitamin D is for growth of bones uh, gen ladies ladies of more than 40 age you can see them having osteomalacia they can't walk properly they say my knee, knee is paining it's all because of this vitamin D deficiency people doctor will suggest them to have calcium tablets and to boost up your vitamin D efficiency so vitamin D very much essential for formation of bones then I move on to vitamin E so vitamin E is one more important enzyme one more important vitamin it's it's important for rejuvenation of tissues if uh, tissues are dead it should be uh, some vitamins are boosting up to rejuvenate your tissues and it is also act as an antioxidant which are pharmaceutically very important then I move on to vitamin K so vitamin K is important for clotting of blood unfortunately when you are cutting your fruits you cut you may cut on your uh, fingers also then what makes you to clot your blood that's definitely vitamin K is doing that action then I move on to water soluble vitamins like vitamin B vitamin B as I said before it's a big complex B1 B2 B6 B12 and it goes on and each has its own specific activities in which B1 is made up of is very much essential for nourish, nourishment of nerve cells nourish nerve cells and B2 is made up, is essential for carbohydrate metabolism carbohydrate metabolism and B6 is essential for normal metabolism of nerve cells means of amino acids and fats how B2 is contributing for carbohydrate metabolism fats and uh, amino acid metabolism like protein metabolism is taken care by vitamin B6 and vitamin B12 is essential for maturation of the erythrocytes erythrocytes are nothing but the skin layers dermis they say no that erythro uh, sorry erythrocytes or red blood cells those nourishment of red blood cells are taken care by vitamin B12 cyanocobalamin like this way vitamins are playing a major role in our diet even though they are not contributing to that energy process means they are not directly contributing to the energy but they are playing an important role for the activities of this metabolism so these metabolisms are taken care by vitamins then I move on to one more important thing called minerals why normal water is more mineral water is most costly than uh, water you know normal water you know because that minerals also playing a major role in our diet so people sell they call if you next time when you get a bottle just look over it's just a packaged water or a mineral water because mineral water is very much different if you take a tender coconut it is made up of minerals a rich or a cucumber that is having an actual mineral than what you say here so minerals is also called as accessory food factors like vitamins this is called as accessory but it's required without that the, our diet won't be complete so lot of bodybuilding activities are taken by, care by these vitamins and some vitamins I will say macronutrients and micronutrients as the plant requires our body also requires minerals in a different composition for example calcium magnesium and phosphorus are required for bodybuilding activities Similarly, 